Hi everyone, it's Dr. David Morris with Magnolia Medical Center and today I want to talk to you about uh, a common question that we get in the office and that is, how did I get this thyroid problem? Now, many people don't even know they have a thyroid problem, they're actually told that they don't have a thyroid problem when they go to the doctor. So that's a subject for another day, but today we're going to talk about people who have got a thyroid problem, they know they have a thyroid issue, and one of the main reasons why they got it. All right, so there's many reasons. Today we're going to talk about one, and that is toxins. Toxins in your environment. Now, you don't have to drink water from a tainted well or have water from these days in the news is uh, from Flint, Michigan, the bad water that they've got there. You don't have to have involved, been involved in a chemical spill at a, at a factory in order to have toxins in your environment. Most people are aware that we get toxins from a lot of places. The title of this video is, What Do, what do Bread, uh, Baked Goods, Your Swimming Pool, Tap Water, and Toothpaste Have to Do with Your Thyroid Problems? So, we're going to talk about that, but in order to do that, we kind of have to flash back for a moment to your, your chemistry class in high school, and you learned all about the periodic table. So, I'm going to show that on the screen here in a, for, in a moment, and this is the, the periodic table here as you learned it in high school. Okay, everybody got a good look at that? You remember, uh, you remember the test you had on that? So, in order for us to go over this, you need to know a few things. There's a column on that, there's a column on that periodic chart that is at the top, if it was written in, they would be called the type of uh, things that showed up in that column, they would be called the halogens. And in that column, one of the things on that column is called iodine. And iodine is essential for your thyroid to be able to make thyroid hormone. It's absolutely needed for you to have iodine in order to make thyroid hormone. So also in that column are some things that are in the same family as iodine. They, they look very similar to iodine in, to your body. Fluorine or fluoride is one of them. Chlorine or chloride and bromine or bromide are all very similar chemically to iodine. So why does that matter? Well, it matters in a lot of ways, uh, but we're going to go over them now. Fluoride is in your toothpaste and it's also in your tap water. All right. Chlorine is in your tap water and in swimming pools. Bromide, in the 1970s, we were allowed to, the FDA said it was fine for us to put potassium bromine, potassium bromate into bread to make it rise faster, to make it last a little bit longer. And to this day, it is allowed to be in our baked goods. And it has been known, other countries have tested this and outlawed it in their baked goods as, as a toxin, but the FDA says it's fine for us. And it is not fine for us, so it's still in all of our baked goods. So all those things that I mentioned have these things in them. Again, all right, what does that matter? In order for us to know and understand how that matters, we have to look at your thyroid cell. So this is an example of a thyroid cell. And on the, on the surface of that thyroid cell, we have little receptor sites. Basically, uh, the, the lock in the door, the key. Not the key, but the lock in the door we call it a receptor site. And your thyroid cells have receptor sites for iodine. Now iodine is necessary for thyroid hormone because it takes iodine and an amino acid called tyrosine in order to make the thyroid hormone T3 and T4. So it's tyrosine plus three molecules of iodine or tyrosine plus four molecules of iodine. So iodine, you must have it in order to get thyroid hormone. So iodine is supposed to be the key basically to the lock on the receptor side of the cell. Then iodine gets into the cell, your thyroid cell, the thyroid gland right here, a little butterfly shaped uh, gland right in your neck. And when it gets into the cell, it combines with tyrosine through a bunch of chemical processes and you get your lovely thyroid hormone that we desperately need. But since iodine looks so similar, or I should say it's this way, we could say fluorine or fluoride, chlorine and bromine look so similar to iodine, they actually fit the lock. Okay, so these things actually fit in the receptor sites. They fit the lock the same way that iodine does. Now they don't turn the tumblers, they won't unlock it, 
but they fit the lock and they block all those receptor sites. So if you have these things in your environment, if you're a, a, an avid swimmer and you're in swimming pools a lot, if you're drinking lots of tap water, honestly, if you're even taking a shower, for some people they're that susceptible and that sensitive to the fluoride and the chlorine and even the water that they're showering with because it gets in through their skin. Baked goods, uh, pretzels, breads, donuts, things that are made in commercial bakeries, with the potassium bromate uh, that turns into pot potassium bromide in the body. All of these things can block those receptor sites and then iodine can't get in. And if iodine can't get in, then you don't get T3 and T4. So toxins in your environment have a lot to do with how healthy your thyroid gland is. So one of the things that we do in our office is when we're looking at somebody's blood work, we're paying very close attention to uh, and we're looking at their history, we're paying very close attention to what type of things are going on with them, where are they susceptible to these toxins, changing their diet, changing their environment, even telling them to go, get, go to Home Depot and get a shower head that has a, a filter on it so that they're not getting chlorine and fluoride through their skin, changing their toothpaste, and this can really make a difference for a lot of thyroid sufferers. So if you're out there suffering, you want more information about the thyroid, you can watch my full-length thyroid video. Uh, you can get it at the link below. You can call our office and we'll send you a link to it. Uh, I appreciate you watching today. We want you to stay on the road to good health. Uh, please do me a favor. If this was interesting to you, please like the video and share this with others. Click the share button. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe, that subscribe button. It really helps us get the message that there's solutions to chronic health problems out there. To all the people that are suffering, thanks for watching. Again, stay on the, good health, on the road to good health.